Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. This is going to be a guide for you to upgrade your Tesla gun into the Hurricane. That's the pink upgrade that's absolutely beastly in the Final Reich. This is definitely one of the easier ones to upgrade, and I really do think that the end result is worth the effort, so let's get down to business. To upgrade the Tesla gun, you obviously need the Tesla gun, and if you don't know how to build it, I've got a guide for it on my channel in the top right-hand corner of the screen or in the description, which you can click through to now, give it a watch, and then come back to this guide when you've got your Tesla and are ready to get going with the upgrade. During the casual easter egg process, you'll at some point have to unlock the salt mine door and go down to the emperor's chamber. And on your way down, you'll encounter four bomb zombies with bombs on their backs. I'll hereafter refer to them as bombies. Try and keep one of the bombies alive and walk it to the laboratory area of the map. By doing this, we can save ourselves having to get a bomb zombie later in the game at like round 10, 12, something like that when the next one spawns in. It just makes your life a bit easier. Regardless though, bring a Bombi to the laboratory area of the map and bring it up this set of stairs. You're going to blow the Bombi up in front of a locker in the wall and inside you'll find a battery which you can grab and walk down to the center of the electric trap where there's a holder for it and you can get ready to charge that bad boy up. Now the charge process for this battery is actually really easy, but just kind of massaging it into place takes a little bit of time because it's kind of round based. Essentially, you need multiple walking zombies with clubs on their arms. I call them Big Bertha. Some people call them Whistlers. There's all sorts of names for them at this point, but whatever the weather, bring multiple club armed zombies, that's two or more, into the electric trap while the battery is in place in its little holder there. And while they're in there, you should see that the bottom of the battery holder will go green. That's an indicator that it's time for you to turn the trap on and kill Big Bertha, or the pair of Berthas, with the trap itself. Now, this won't necessarily work the first time. You may need to do this twice or even three times. So that's two or even three pairs of Berthas. So persevere, keep at it, and once you've killed probably your second pair of Big Berthas in the electric trap, and you can do it with three, by the way. It definitely is fine to do so, and I've done that plenty of times. I feel like it's sort of a bit easier if you're killing all your Big Berthas at once because you don't want one straggler afterwards to bonk you on the head and kill you. But I'm getting sidetracked. Kill the Berthas in the electric trap while the base of the battery holder is green, and once you've done it once or twice, you should notice that uh, the battery will be able to be picked up and you'll be able to start walking with it. Now, I have to stress here that in order to progress with the upgrade process, you're going to need to have completed the lightning rod defense process in the casual fireworks easter egg quest. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a guide for you that I've made in the top right hand corner of the screen and the description down below, which you can click through to. It'll explain exactly how to get to the lightning rod defense process. You've got to complete that and then you'll be good to go because otherwise you can't place the battery in its next location. You can also obviously just follow the in-game hints on the top left hand corner of your screen when you open your notebook, but the guide is the preferred option in my opinion. I mean, I'm biased, I made it. So, once you've done that step, you're going to bring the battery to the holder where you previously got one of your Tesla gun parts in the laboratory area, and you're going to place it in the right hand side. When you're ready to start a lockdown process, hold square on it once more, and by the way, you can only do that once per round, so if you've already done one this round, you won't be able to do it next round, but regardless, hold square, a lockdown will begin, and you'll then need to defend the holder, defend the battery charger from the incoming masses of zombies. Now, to do this, pack a punch guns are really useful, so if you don't know how to do that, there's a link in the top right hand corner of the screen in the description, just like before, that I've made, and that'll walk you through that process. Also, I really recommend jack in the boxes. Also, even more so, I recommend and other upgraded Tesla guns, if you've got any already in your game, use them because they're so damn good and obviously make use of your special abilities and grenades as well are really effective for this. I love sticky grenades and they come in real handy. Once you've completed the process, the health bar will go away and after about 30 seconds, just like previously when you got a Tesla part out of this machine here, you'll get a new Tesla part that you'll be able to bring into the command room and then up the flight of stairs to the Tesla build station that you previously used and voila! you'll be able to craft the hurricane. Hopefully this no-nonsense guide has been useful. As I've said in the other guides, please drop a like on it. I mean, you can check out the other guides as well. Once more, linked in the description and on screen now. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Maybe consider subscribing too. You know, the option's there. As far as the upgrades go, I love the Hurricane. I think that this thing is freaking amazing. I can't stress it enough. Plus, I just really like the effect. 
the big sort of ball of death that kind of wiggles its way out of your gun and just floats around in the air for a little bit just makes me happy. So there's my recommendation for you. If you enjoy the gun as well, if you enjoyed the guide, or if you're just feeling good, drop a like on the video, like I've said, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.